just heard. Two, your scale wasn't zeroed. <sighs> Thirty eight twenty minus my heavy ass, so thirty six. It's a pretty heavy Beretta. I had two squeaks in this car. One was in the steering hub. That's been there since it was a four cylinder front wheel drive. And then I had a squeak developing right here and it was killing me. 3,600 pounds is how much this thing weighs without me in it. Honestly, that's pretty heavy for a Beretta. I mean, a Beretta is like, what, 28, 29, maybe 3,000? All right, so I've compared multiple cars to that particular weight. Um, I've compared a Beretta, a Chevy Blazer, and the Blazer is like 4,135 pounds. Um, and then I've also compared a Camaro. A Camaro is actually 36 heavy. Like, I would assume that's like a, a convertible. So this thing weighs just as much as a, a 2002 Camaro convertible, SS. Which really isn't that bad, because I have an iron block, I have a frame, I have four wheel drive. There's a lot going on in this car that a Camaro does not have. There's a lot of potential. Yeah, I think my squeak's gone because it's not coming back. Thank God. That was killing me. You got no ABS? No. What's up, man? So here's a walk around for this turd. I mean, to anybody who doesn't really know, this thing was completely built outside. And it doesn't really have much room for the back seat, but I don't really care. That's where my dog sits. The glove box, I completely deleted it. The, the dashboard is basically hollow, besides the radio and a couple of guts down there. Got the OBD2 and the service engine light right there. So when it comes to the amenities of this old car, um, the radio is, is basically the old AC Delco. It's, it's retro, dude. Um, except for this cable. This is not like the, the stupid cassette adapter that you get from Walmart. No, I actually tied into it and I deleted the tape deck itself. I have a toggle switch on the back of this that I can switch from the radio to my phone and it, it, it works great. I don't understand why people don't do it for the most part, but it is what it is. When it comes to this, this is how I engage my four-wheel drive. So when you stick it to vent, it engages the differential. This is for the heater that I have not yet run coolant lines to. And then this right here, that's my electric fan. I turn this off only for maintenance so I can hear the motor, hear whatever's going on, blah, 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 blah. The power windows do work. The car's not turned on. All my lights work, dome lights work. Just shut these on and off. The carpet doesn't really match. I mean, it is a blazer floor pan, so that's what it is. I made my own stupid floor mats for this thing. All right, so this is the trunk, and if anybody owns a blazer, they'll maybe recognize this. Speaker covers in there. The radio in this car is actually amplified. Got like one of those little pill amplifiers. I removed all this, honestly, just for easy accessibility of everything. This car will never cease to be 
dismantled. It's always going to be dismantled anyway. Uh, so when it comes to gauges, I have all the appropriate ones for the most part besides speed. And then, I mean, that's really not a problem. All I have to do is just, you know, just use my phone, which is not a problem at all. all right, I have no venting in here. This is all dead. There's nothing here. All I have is defrosters and then floor down there. And I really don't care for anything else as long as I can, as long as I can just get warm. So that's it right there. It's nothing perfect, nothing beautiful. It just works. Everything works. At least everything I want to work works. One major thing I do not have on this car is windshield wipers because the stock location of the windshield wiper motor was right here, bah, right there. However, my windshield wipers will move in unison. So what I'm gonna do in the future, if I even care to do so, because I don't like driving this thing in the rain, I don't really like driving this thing in any kind of inclement weather, is I'm gonna mount the windshield wiper motor right here. And then I'm gonna run a trans cable from that motor into here and then run it across so I could actually just use the windshield wipers. If I, you know, if, if there's like a dusting of rain, whatever, whatever you want to call it, but either way, it'll work.